on there will just go to messaging because that's quite a key thing with this handset because of the large display it makes messaging very easy I mean I can tap out a message extremely quickly on this with you know, very few mistakes since I've been using this device um, it's still predictive, you know, it has predictive text, it still predicts what you're going to write if you do go wrong it does fix that um, but you won't make as many mistakes because the keyboard is so large if we just flip the phone on the side you can see we also get a landscape query keyboard as well uh, so if you've got slightly wider fingers you may opt for this but to be honest for the majority of people I'd imagine that the portrait keyboard would be plenty big enough one of the other strengths obviously is internet browsing because uh, of the large display you can see it comes up very nicely, I'm just going to quickly hop onto the mobile phone website uh, and again we are on a Wi-Fi connection so it should be a uh, pretty decent uh, speed it shouldn't take very long at all as you'll see now uh, this device got a 1.5 gigahertz processor on board uh, it's not the dual core 1.5 gigahertz processor as in the Sensation XE um, but it's still pretty quick I mean you can see that load up really quickly uh, we've got some flash ads just coming up the top and side now again didn't take very long um, may or may not be able to see in the video but it's a bit fuzzy because of the low resolution you can't read the text as easily um, in the fully zoomed out view as you might have been able to on the Sensation X E and the regular Sensation um, but nevertheless I mean I don't think many people would actually read the text in the fully zoomed out view you're a lot more likely to zoom in uh, and when you do that obviously you've got the larger display making it very very easy to read what you're looking at and you can see everything works very fluidly very smoothly so to me, to be honest, in everyday use you shouldn't really notice the fact that it's just a single core processor nor do you really notice too much that it's a low resolution display so although on paper the specs aren't as good as the Sensation Sensation XL uh, Sensation XE um, the Sensation XL is still a good phone and you know still works fine day to day the last thing I'm just going to quickly go to the camera because it has a slightly better camera in terms of spec than the XE and uh, original Sensation um, it's again an 8 megapixel camera uh, but it's got a back, uh, backside illuminated sensor and an f2.2 lens uh, which is supposed to mean that it works better in low light uh, in reality it's much of a muchness, it might work slightly better but it's still not a great image to be fair uh, you can see the settings we've got here, we've got things like self timer white balance, ISO, uh, you can make various image adjustments uh, we've got things like geotagging, face detection uh, you can see here, um, you can put a grid on if you want so it's got all the features you'd expect to find on a HTC uh, camera phone. It's also got this new little effects part here, so you can put a different, you know, weird effect on the image as you take it. Which can be quite fun for messing around, but otherwise isn't particularly practical or useful. Uh, and down the bottom corner in the left, once this gets out of our way, you can see we've got a button to go straight to the gallery, so we can see all the uh, videos and images we've taken. So here's a sample of the uh, video taken earlier. Uh, the XL records a maximum resolution of 720p uh, so again it's down on the 1080p that the Sensation and Sensation XE can record which is a little bit of a shame but you can see the video looks good enough on the uh, Sensation XL's display sounds good enough uh, indoors, I didn't really get much chance to test it outside to see if it had the wind noise problems that some of the other HTC handsets suffer from but generally it seemed pretty decent indoors uh, if we just quit back out of that show you another feature of the Sensation SL's camera and that is this uh, slow motion video you can see it looks a lot darker, it's a bit hard to tell uh, in this video I've done but it's also got this slow motion mode where it records slow motion video um, in WVGA resolution, so the same resolution as the display so not particularly practical for uh, any real use but can be a bit of fun if you want to play the video back on the phone and you know do some silly slow motion videos or something Right, so lastly I'm just going to quickly show you through the apps list here in the main menu show you what we've got preloaded on the Sensation XL we've got the connected media which is basically to allow you to stream your music and photos and videos that are saved on the phone to uh, DLNA compatible TV or something like that uh, I've also got usual Facebook, I think Dropbox was something that uh, was saved on my account and automatically got loaded in um, it's possible that it could be standard these days uh, we've got Facebook chat as well uh, you've got Friendstream, you've got a flashlight, um, you've got usual Google Mail, HTC Hub, uh, HTC's Locations uh, Offline Mapping Service, which is a bit sort of like a Google Maps type thing, except you've got to pay for the turn by turn navigation, uh, and all the maps are saved on the device rather than having to be downloaded as you go, like you do with uh, Google Maps. 
Um, you've got Google Maps anyway, so should you need it, it's there, and you've got the navigation as well. Uh, you've got HTC's news and news and weather applications. You've got the mirror, which uses the forward facing 1.3 megapixel camera at the top here to show you an image of yourself. Uh, fortunately, as well, that's not the only use for that camera this time because you've also got the Tango um, video calling application pre installed as well. And they tested that out with an iPad 2 on the other end uh, and it worked perfectly well. I mean, the quality obviously isn't going to be brilliant because it's a 1.3 megapixel camera, but nevertheless, it works pretty decently. Uh, you've also got this new notes application which uh, is a bit like what you find on HTC's um, flyer tablet basically that you can tap out notes whilst also you can see at the top uh, recording audio as well so if you're in a meeting you can record what people are saying whilst tapping out notes uh, and whenever you tap out a note it will actually sort of save the point at which the note was made in the recording so you can see what exactly what was said when you made the note which is quite handy and there's all the different instructions for it there as you can see uh, it's compatible with Evernote, so you can uh, sync it back to your Evernote account should you wish. Um, and again, you can log into your Evernote account on the HTC Sensation XL uh, when you're setting it up too, which is quite nice. Uh, I've also got things like HTC's Places app, or sorry, Google Places app. Uh, you've got Polaris Office there, which can open Excel, Word and PowerPoint files. Uh, you've got HTC's book reading application, the reader here. You can see we can just sort of scroll through cover art and select the book that we want to read. Uh, just show you some of the preloaded ones here. You can see it's a pretty nice way to read a book, and again, the screen's pretty large. You can zoom in and out. Um, to be honest, it's not the kind of thing I would use the phone for, especially with the 1600 milliamp hour battery. I mean, if you sat on the bus reading a book, you'd probably find your phone was dead by the time you got home. But um, still, if you fancy, you know, if you've got a charger handy or somewhere to plug the phone in, then you might be able to read it on lunch or something. Uh, you've got the stocks application that you usually find on HTC devices. You've got SoundHound, which is for uh, analysing music. Say you hear a song on the radio that you like, you can just open up SoundHound um, and it will listen to the music and tell you what the song is and then allow you to go and buy it um, or find out information about it, which is quite handy. Back from here, we've also got a task manager built in there, which makes a change. Again, quite nice to see that on the HTC devices. You can switch to a task or you can just kill off tasks you can see there or just kill all at the bottom you can see what they're using in terms of data and that uh, if we go back as well we've got uh, HTC, sorry, Google Talk uh, instant messaging application we've got the usual teeter game, we've got a tasks sort of list you can list what things that you've got to do like a to-do list um, we've also got uh, this little application for transferring from an old HTC device we've got Twitter, we've got voice search uh, voice recorder, you've also got a voice dialing app which is new and you've got this usage monitor app which to be honest I really like uh, you can see we've got mobile data usage here you've got you know, minutes, tell you how many minutes you've used in you know any session uh, and also tells you your messages you've used as well so um, it quite handy basically for keeping a track on everything that you're using throughout the month um, we've got HTC's watch app there, weather, Wi-Fi hotspot as you find on a lot of HTC's devices and the YouTube app so um, that's a quick rundown and review of the HTC Sensation XL. Overall I really liked it, despite the fact that its on paper specs were inferior to uh, its siblings, the Sensation and the Sensation XE. Um, but generally I found it a good phone. I quite like having the large display, makes it a lot easier to type, um, and you don't really notice the lower resolution too much, nor the slower processor. Uh, so that's a quick roundup from Russ Jeffers at mobileburn.com. Please check out our website for the full review. Uh, and also some sample photos and videos as well.